Hey guys, Lee McLaughlin here. Recently I took part in a Jared Dines video where we traded some solos. I thought I would break down some of the licks I played and uh, give you an insight into how I use chromatics in my licks. So for the opening statement of my first solo, I wanted to include a lot of the chromaticism that defines my playing. This backing track is firmly rooted in the key of C minor, and I wanted to use this as an opportunity to experiment with different color tones and chromaticisms that you can get by stepping in and out of the scale. For this first lick, we're staying in this box on the 8th fret of C minor. Or E flat major. We're going to start in the 8th fret of the high E with our first finger. And we're going to hammer with our pinky onto the 11th fret of the high E. And we're going to pull off back to the 1. Like this. And then we're going to hammer each note chromatically up to the 9, up to the 10th fret of the high E. Okay, this is a little bit of bebop vocabulary that's just a different way of getting to the 9. Okay, and once we're there, we're going to play a little arpeggio that descends down a major chord. You might recognize this shape. But we're going to play it with our third finger. Like this. So that's 10th fret on the high E, 11th fret of the, the B, and the 10th fret of the G. So that whole lick goes... And we're going to upstroke both of those notes. Okay? Then we're going to pull off to the first finger on the 8th fret of the G, and we're going to slide it down to the 9th fret. So... Then we're going to run down this G minor arpeggio, starting from the 7th fret of the G. So we're doing 7 on the G, 8 on the D, and 10 on the A. And then we're going to pull off twice. Right, down to this E flat. So we're on 10th fret of the A, and we're pulling off to 8, and then we're pulling off to 6. So that whole lick goes... So, so far we've got... From there, we're going to slide with our first finger down to 5. And we're going to run up the scale. So 5, 6, 8 on the A. And then 5, 6, 8 on the D. And then we're going to go 5. And we're going to skip to 8 on the G. And we're going to do the same move we did up here. But we're going to do it down here. Okay. So that whole run was... And then we're going to go to 6 on the B. Hammer on to 8 on the B. Okay, so... And then first finger comes up to 4 on the E. And the pinky finger comes down on 8. And we're going to do this other little bebop move. Where we play... Third finger, first finger, second. Okay, so that whole thing was. And then we're going to go down a little arpeggio. So we're starting on six with the second finger. We're going to play eight with the pinky on the B. And then eight on the G. And then we're going to, with our first finger, we're going to pull off to seven. And then we're going to run up the, the, the minor scale. So that's 7, 8, 10 on the G. And then we're going to hit the 7th fret of the B. And we're going to hammer on with the pinky on the 11th fret of the B. And we're going to descend chromatically down to 8. Okay, so that was... Okay. 
So from from here. And then we're going to descend the C minor pentatonic. So we're going to go 10th fret on the G. And then 8th fret on the G. And then 10th fret on the D. And 10th fret on the on, on 8th fret on the D. And then we're going to hit 11 on the A. And then another little bebop move. We're going to go 8, 9, 10 on the D. On the A, sorry. And from there we're going 11 on the E, down to 8. So that whole thing's slow. The second lick I want to talk about occurs about halfway through my second solo spot in the video. It's more of a bluesy flavor, but it still uses a lot of these chromatic concepts and it uses different chromatic patterns from the first lick. This second lick starts in this position of C minor. And, uh, and it starts on the 11th fret of the high E. And we're gonna hammer on to 15. And we're gonna do the same move that we did in lick one, where we go. Okay, and in here we got the blues note, and we also got the major third, which is quite nice. Um, and we're gonna, and we're, yeah, so it's 11, 15, 14, 12, 13. And I'm playing this all legato. And then we're gonna run down the C minor pentatonic. Right, which is 13, 11, 13, 11. So all that from the beginning. And then the next part, we're gonna do 12, 11, 10 on the G. Right, which is the blues, blues scale. Then we're gonna do 13 on the D to 10 on the D. Like a little blues lick. And then we're gonna slide the first finger down to eight. And then we're gonna stay in this box for the rest of the lick. We're gonna go eight, nine, 10. And we're gonna play eight on the G. And we're gonna go 10, eight. And then, and the same as before, 11, eight, nine, 10. And then we're gonna hit the eighth fret on the G. And immediately after, we're gonna hit the 11th fret of the E. So that whole lick goes, The last lick I want to talk about is taken straight out of a Mario Kart 8 track. It uses a lot of the same language that I used in the rest of these licks, and I thought it'd be fun to throw in there because it's in the same key, and it kind of fits the, the tempo and style. So for this Mario Kart lick, we're going to start on the 15th fret of the high E. And we're going to slide into it. And we're going to play 15, 13 on the, on the E. And then 16 on the B. And we're going to use our pinky to slide down to 15. Because we need to grab this 12th fret on the B, okay? Okay, so that was 15, 13, 12. 
and we're gonna go back to 13 on the with the middle finger and then we're gonna hit 16 with the pinky okay and then we're gonna run down this F minor 7 arpeggio where we're gonna do 16 pull off to 13 St uh, then a finger roll from 13 to 13 on the G and then third finger comes down on the 15 of the D so that whole thing slow from there we're gonna do a string skip I like to play this with the hybrid with the pinky on the 15th fret of the B okay so run down the scale so we're gonna do 15 13 11 okay and then we're gonna do 13 on the G 12 on the G okay and then we're gonna do another string skip with the pinky on the 15th fret of the A and it's a little trill so it's gonna be 15, 14, 15, okay, so like that, okay, and then we're going to do another string skip to 12th fret of the G, and we're going to do 12, 15, it's the same move that we've been doing this whole time, it's 12, 15, 14, 12, 13, like that, and then there's a little rest where we move position, we're going to do first finger on the 15th on the G. I'm going to do 15, 17. And then to round it off, the exact same move that we just did here. But we're going to do it here. Okay, so that's 15, 18, 17, 15, 16 on the B. And that whole thing's slow. to do a little Greg Howe vibrato here like to round it off. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope it gave you some insight into my playing and how to use chromaticism in yours. I also do Skype lessons in case you want to further develop these skills as well as in improvisation or music theory. Let me know if you want to see more of these kind of videos in the future and until then see you later.